Hi everyone and welcome to the Gate to Sovereign Guard installation and troubleshooting guide. My name is Jay, I'm the creator of this collection for Skyrim and also the author of many of the mods included in the collection. So I would say that you can trust my instructions here for the most part, we'll see. So before we start I want to say, so most of you will not need this video. So the collection is made to work out of the gate with close to zero configuration from the side, it's also very, very flexible. But I want this as a reference point for people that are having issues, so I don't have to answer the same questions again and again and again. Uh, but yeah, with this said, please use the YouTube markers that you can find at the bottom of the video, so you can move from one section to the next if something is not relevant for you. I will try to speak a little bit slower and clearer so you can all understand me and follow along. All right, so let's get started. So first of all, Please make sure that you're using the latest version of Vortex. The program updates itself like on its own, but you never know. I've already had someone trying to install this on Nexus Mod Manager, which is a program from like five years ago or something. So yeah. Next point, I would recommend clearing out your downloads folder from Vortex. So I'll explain it real quick. So when you download a mod using Vortex, it puts the installer of that mod in a hidden folder. And same thing if you've previously used a different collection. It just downloads the installers and it hides them in a, in a random folder. So why, why is Vortex doing this? So these installation files are kept in your PC so you can quickly reinstall a mod if you're having issues. And this also allows you to keep having to re-download the entire collection if there's an update. So it's really useful, right? However, since these compressed files, these installation files, already exist in your hard drive, Vortex will not download the mods again if they are shared with another collection. So, this is in theory a good thing, but not really, because Vortex is not accounting that maybe the collections had different options selected and the installation is different for each collection. So yeah, this means trouble in the end. So if you've used uh, collections in the past, or if you've used your own mods in the past and you've installed mods using Vortex, I would recommend just clearing out this folder completely before we begin the installation. Also, if you're in need of extra space and, and you don't plan on updating my collection, or if you're okay just downloading the entire collection again when you update, you can also delete this folder once the collection has been downloaded and it will give you around, I think it's like 40 gigabytes of space back. All right, so yeah, pretty good, but it comes with uh, with some negative points. So how do we get rid of these installation files before we start? So we click on the Mods tab, then we click on Open, then Open Mod Staging Folder. We go back twice to the Vortex folder, then we open the folder called Downloads, and here we open Skyrim SE. And now you can safely delete these files, it's going to be fine. Nothing's really going to get lost, right? Because you can reinstall them later. All right. So, next thing is that you need a copy of Skyrim Special Edition on Steam. So GOG can also work, but that's a story for another day because it's a bit of a special case. Um, so yeah, you need a Skyrim Special Edition on Steam and your Skyrim must be updated to the latest version. You might or not own Anniversary Edition upgrade, that's fine, okay? The collection will work with or without it. And if you're confused about this Anniversary Edition upgrade, what it is, it's basically a set of DLC that you can buy and, and install here. All right. The next step is only necessary if you've done some heavy modding on your, on your PC. So if you've used tools like Nemesis or Fnis or Dintolot, then I recommend doing this. Using Vortex, those tools will basically pollute this current main folder. This is the reason why we need to do this. It's a little bit unfortunate because uh, coming from Mod Organizer 2, that tool has a way to deal with this in a clean way. So instead of putting the new files into this current folder, it just puts any new files into a folder called Overwrite. But yeah. Vortex just grabs everything that those modding tools generate and it just drops it into the Skyrim main folder. And that might conflict with the uh, collections, might conflict with other things, right? So it's never going to be like a clean 
Skyrim installation on, on unless you do this step. So, if you've previously used tools like those, then I recommend doing this. And to delete Skyrim, I recommend just opening the Skyrim folder and just nuking everything in it. Right? It's pretty simple. Then we go to Steam, we click on Verify Files, and we wait for the download to finish. Next step is that we need to launch Skyrim in a clean setup. So if you've purchased the Anniversary Edition upgrade, then a pop-up will start, and it will download the, the files basically from Anniversary Edition upgrade. If that doesn't happen and you've purchased the, the upgrade, then do not worry, you can still go into the Creation Club menu and then you click on Download All and it will just be basically the same. You wait for them to download and then you exit the game. If you don't have Anniversary Edition upgrade, I still recommend launching the game once before we proceed to the next step just to be safe. All right, and one small note here. So the collection is made for the English language in mind and I think it might not work in other languages. I think there are a couple of issues. So I recommend checking that the game language is set to English. All right, now next. So now we get to Vortex, and if this is your first time using Vortex, you might be asked to set up your modding folder, etc. Then once you're in into the normal tool without the installation things, then please, you need to activate Skyrim Special Edition among your games and we want to go to dashboard and we activate profile management all right and next we install the collection by clicking on the download button and uh, yeah we wait a little bit and the installation panel will show up here we select new profile okay then we click on install now Vortex is not the most reliable when it comes to downloading big collections, unfortunately. I'm sure it will all be improved uh, at a later point, but right now it's a little bit tricky, so you might encounter some issues. My recommendation is do not panic. Um, this uh, I recorded this video during my last installation, and I experienced, for example, the collection getting stuck, right? This is uh, easy to fix. You just pause the collection, you close Vortex, and you launch it again. How do you decide if it's been <laughs> stuck or not? If none of the numbers have moved in like 15 minutes, it's definitely stuck. So you just pause, close, open, and resume. And then it will just continue and work properly. You might also experience fail to install dependency errors. These errors are really annoying and might be caused by server issues, your firewall, Vortex putting a limit to how many files you can download in a day. So yeah, a lot of causes. The good news is that even though they look scary, these errors, and you might have like 20, these files should install on their own at the end of the installation. So just let it continue. All right, once the collection has finished with the installation, then you will be asked if you want to install optional files. If you do not own the Anniversary Edition upgrade, you need to click on No Thanks. But if you do own the Anniversary Edition upgrade, you should click on Install Optional Files. Then you will need to wait a few more minutes for the last mods to install themselves, and then you will get a, a final greeting once it's uh, finished. All right, so the installation is done. However, we're not done yet, unfortunately. Some common issues that might result from the installation and one final step that you need to do. So basically, you're excited to get started, right? You want to, to play, you click on play, and big mistake. You've got the, the infinite loading wheel, or it's crashing, or who knows, right? So first of all, I recommend clicking on sorting plugins and deploying mods. This is something that you should be familiar with because uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this whenever we have issues. We should always sort plugins and deploy mods because most of the time the errors get rid just doing this. In theory, this happens automatically once you install the collection, but you never know. So you go to plugins, you click on sort now, then you go to mods and you click on deploy. You wait a little bit and then it's done. This will fix issues like the map not showing properly. That means that the map files are not the last file on your load order 
And when you sort it, then it will properly just fix itself. All right. And another error that you might see, if the collection is saying that you're missing a master, you can try to figure out what it is and maybe you can just enable it. Maybe it's just like a file. It's somehow forgotten. Um, it might be disabled either in the mods or maybe in the plugins. You can check this column here and you can try to find the missing file. Then again, you should sort and deploy. All right, and last thing. So if you experience the infinite loading wheel, that means that you're not launching the game through SKIC. This is the final step in setting up the collection. That's the one thing you need to do after the collection has been installed. Um, you need to set up SKIC, which is a tool that enables more complex mods to work. And you need to set it up as the default launch option. This tool comes pre-installed in the collection, but you need to set it up. And doing this is super easy, super, super easy. So you go to dashboard, you click on tools, you click on the more option thingy, and then you set as default. Now you're ready to launch the game and play. All right. I hope this was useful. And if you have any questions or any, any issues, please feel free to join the Discord and you can ask for help there. And yeah, I hope you have fun with the collection.